Yo, what's going on guys? It is the Big K, and today we're going to be reviewing the character Cat B320 in Horde Mode. So I plan to review every single character in Horde Mode. So if you're new to the game, or if you've been playing the game, and you want to know what a character is like to play, you have a pretty good idea from watching this video. I know what you guys are thinking, man. This guy is a level 30. Why should I trust what he's saying? Yo, I already got to level 100, and I re-upped. So I'm basically level 130. So let's take a look here at Kat. Now she is the Halo Reach character in Gears 5. Haven't played Halo Reach in a while. So Kat B320's role is going to be an engineer. And if you want to, you can totally read all this on the screen. The ultimate ability is going to be Hologram. Deploys a holographic decoy that moves directly forward, drawing enemy fire. Hologram's really awesome, dude. I really like the ultimate ability, especially when a bunch of Scions are, are chasing you down, like Boomshot Scions, whatever, and uh, they're shooting your Hologram instead of your character or your teammates the only thing i suggest if you do use hologram don't stand directly next to your hologram because that kind of defeats the purpose i've learned from experience your passive ability is build new fortifications at a small discount and carry fortifications faster if you're into that there you go so if you plan on playing the cat b320 character you're going to start with the m bar as your main weapon. You're not going to really have any secondary, but you're going to have your repair tool. And then your secondary weapon is going to be your enforcer. So let me tell you, man, the M bar, it kind of sucks, man. Especially if you're playing at higher difficulties. Like, let's say, like, if you're playing on advanced or elite or insane, the M bar is really not going to do that well. It's going to struggle to get kills and you're going to burn through the 15 bullets that you get with this gun very quickly. The Enforcer though, the Enforcer is not that bad. The great thing about the Enforcer is a lot of characters end up dropping that weapon after you completely wreck their face with your gun. So having ammo with the Enforcer is actually a pretty easy thing in Horde mode because like I said, lots of enemies drop this so you're constantly picking up ammo without needing to run to an ammo box. Let's check out these fine skill cards that Cat B320 has. So there's not going to be a lot and she's kind of underrated I feel in the horde mode as lots of other characters have a lot more skill cards and a lot more useful skill cards. Cat B320 seems like she's kind of the oddball that was kind of like forced into the game right at the end of development or something like that. Who knows, man? But you're going to have an epic score boost, which is going to boost your score. And if you get multiple copies, you could upgrade it even more. Then you're going to have root kit. One second of repairing reduces cooldown by 1.25 seconds. So every one second you spend repairing fortifications, it's going to drop your cooldown by 1.25 seconds. Really cool, actually. And like I said, that hologram ultimate is super dope. Next is top of the line. Undamaged fortifications do more damage. And as you level up more, the more damage it will do. Next is going to be repair efficiency. Increases your repair speed and the cost to repair fortifications, which is very nice. Then hologram lifetime. That is a huge, epically awesome skill card that you probably need to have on this character. Because when you first get hologram, it does not last for very long. But once you get this and you maybe upgrade it a few times and it lasts up to 100% or longer, it's very nice. Next is uh, flow is going to reduce the amount of damage that you take while repairing. So I guess if you're just trying to chill there and repair your level 4 turret, you could just chill there and take less damage while you're jamming some ammo in that thing. Next is just a regular score boost. I don't really know why they do this with pretty much every character, but you have a regular score boost and then an epic score boost. I don't know. It feels like someone with OCD had to like put that in there because because then it wouldn't be even, right? Because then you'd have four and then you'd have three and like I'm sure that would annoy someone. So they have a regular score boost. And then Halo is another skill card I have yet to get. I don't know how. I mean, I've beat Horde mode, but um, yeah, still haven't gotten that, man. Maybe you actually have to hit the max level with your character to unlock it i really don't know but yeah that's a pretty quick and easy breakdown of the cat b320 horde character i'm level 12 almost level 13 but if i had a rate cat b320 i'd probably give her like a 
five out of five maybe maybe even like a three out of five just because the starting weapon of an m bar is not that great usually i swap this weapon out for a claw lmg or a hammer burst as those drop pretty frequently in horde mode and i'm able to get ammo a lot easier than trying to find m bars around the map the ultimate ability is great though. The hologram can save you and your teammates many times during a horde match, or at least deflect some of the damage from hitting you and your teammates a couple times. So hologram's cool, M-bar not the best, enforcer not too bad. Skills are definitely lacking on the Cat B320 character. Just like not a lot of stuff that is really interesting or makes sense really for the character or for horde mode but but i mean there is some stuff and yeah that's been my review of the cat b320 character in horde mode and yeah i'm gonna have some uh gameplay at the end here you guys could watch that and see what happens pretty cool pretty cool thanks for watching man peace out Yeah. 